here in New York today an apparent breakthrough, albeit a minimal one, in giving sight to people who cannot see. Many researchers have been trying to apply digital technology to the affliction of blindness, but nothing has gone so far as the research you're about to see. One blind man has actually let scientists hook him up to an artificial eye. Here's ABC's Jack Smith. This man has been blind for 26 years, but with the help of a brand new device, he is able to navigate a room and even judge his distance from a wall. Right now, I should be about five feet. This is the first device that has actually provided useful information for a blind patient. This is how it works. A tiny camera mounted on a pair of glasses relays images to a small computer worn on the belt. The computer turns the images into electronic signals that are sent through the skull to electrodes planted in the brain. When an electrode is stimulated on the surface of the visual cortex, it produces a dot of light or dots of light called phosphenes. The dots appear inside a small rectangle the blind person sees, and they outline roughly what he's looking at. In video provided by researchers, the blind subject is able to place a hat on a dummy, and even distinguish the letter E. So I can take a shot and say that this E faces to the left. But other researchers say the images are far too crude to be widely useful to the blind, and that to make improvements could take 10 or even 20 years of work. There are many problems that will need to be solved before this is something that is routinely available. With a device that's implanted in the brain, there are also issues of safety. And the Food and Drug Administration, which researchers have yet to contact, says the device will need long study if it's ever to be approved. Jack Smith, ABC News, Washington.